focus hocche so next we will move on so in this class we will move on to the risk assessment so let's start with the risk assessment assessment okay so this risk assessment for planned introduction of gmo for planned introduction of gmo so we have to understand that how you can introduce this gmo and with your risk assessment so the first point so the first point is biological characteristics of the recipient or parent organism include statistical taxonomic status center of origin genetic diversity and habitat where they are likely to persist or proliferate so you have to assess the risk on the following characters but first is your biological characteristics so biological characters what is your biological characters the biological characters of your parent organism parent organism that is the wild type variety and this parent organism is having a a, a taxonomic status a taxonomic status a taxonomic status origin origin genetic diversity etc etc so this is first important character next important character is your characteristics of vector the vector the vector which is being used for genetic recombination so what is the origin of the vector origin of the vector source of the vector and the host range of the vector so that you need to understand that this information need to be given so the first one is your biological characters that is your parent organism whose taxonomic status origin and genetic diversity is given then is your vector which comprises of origin source and host range third important point the third important point is detection and identification method including specificity sensitivity and reliability specificity sensitivity and reliability that is very important right sensitivity specificity and reliability and last is complete environmental information environmental information that means what that means its geographical location its ecological characteristics climate weather everything in which the organism grows need to be understood so we actually move on to basically the geographic character geographic location location climate climate ecological characteristics ecological characteristics all this need to be determined for your environmental factors so next we will move on to the risk assessment of transgenic crop risk assessment of risk assessment assessment of course for transgenic crop transgenic crop so the first point the first point here is the characteristics of the promoter so the you know what is promoter character of promoter which is being used in your transgenic crop right next is your location and proximity to related crop in relation to isolation try to understand try to understand that uh, the location of the release is very important right such that there is no cross pollination third point is the change of interpollination with wild relatives and chance of survival of transgene 
so interpollination the interpollination needs to be avoided fourth point i think you can see fourth point the fourth point is possible disturbance of ecosystem since it's an exotic species so there will be a disturbance of eco system disturbance in the ecosystem and fifth point fifth point is effect of transgenic plant and flora and fauna of the phylosphere and rhizosphere so effect on phylosphere and rhizosphere so that's all we will continue in our next class